Welcome, Life Church family. Come on, let's stand together this morning and worship. Come on, put your hands together. Wandering into the night, wanting a place to hide this weary soul, this bag of bones. And I try with all my might, but I just can't win the fight. I'm slowly drifting. A bag of bones. Just when I ran out of the road, I met a man I didn't know, and he told me that I was not alone. You picked me up, you turned me around, and placed my feet on solid ground. I thank the Master, I thank the Savior, because you heal my choice but to believe my doubts are burning like ashes in the wind so so long to my old friends and burdens and bitterness you can just keep it moving no you're not welcome here so from now to
All right, all right, all right. Good morning. Welcome to Kids Turn Life Church Edition. Are you excited? All right. Hey, you can be seated. My name's Tim. I'm the pastor of the church. If you're a guest with us, welcome. We're so glad that you came out today for our kids, the, the launch service for our Kids Turn service. So a couple things real quick. You probably notice if you attend here regularly, things are a little different. Um, so if you didn't know, today is the first service of our week-long Kids Turn outreach, and we're so excited to have uh, Kids Turn with us all through the week, all the way to Wednesday night. So a couple things. We're going to go ahead and designate this section right here for the girls. If you're a girl, give me a shout. Yeah. So mom and dad, you, you may want to help them find that spot in there. That, that might help because there'll be some things given out, whatever. And over here, we're going to designate this as the boys. Come on, guys. Give me a shout out. Yeah. All right. All right. Hey, um, if you're a guest with us, we're going to invite you to turn to the seat back in front of you and grab one of these. It's our connection card. We're so glad that you came out, whether you found out through a, an invite card or maybe you clicked on the video or maybe you saw it on the sign or maybe someone personally invited you. We're so glad that you are here. Take a few moments. Grab the card. There's a pin right there. Put your name and check the box that says first time guest. And that way we'll know. And there's a place for some information. You'll see that. Here's our motivation. Uh, we promise, first of all, that we will um, not do anything weird with that information. Honestly, I'd love to send you a letter in the mail. Remember that thing at the end of your driveway? That's like a box that's for mail. Well, I'll send you a letter in the mail and, and an email. So that's the motivation. We'd love to kind of hear from you. On the back, there's a place for you to write down prayer requests. And we ask ourselves, hey, what is a lot of questions or what are the common questions that people like normally ask? And so we kind of try to prompt you there. And if you have any questions about the church, if you'll let us know by check, indicating on the box, we'll connect with you and, and follow through. If you're watching on Facebook, hey, welcome. Welcome to our Facebook uh, Live or our YouTube channel. We invite you to go onto our church app or website and fill one of these out. And there's a place for prayer requests. If there's anything we can pray with you about this week, we're going to be praying for you. So all the thing we need you to do is write it down so we'll know. If you would rather have that kind of quiet, confidential, you can indicate that. And we'll just have the pastors pray for that kind of between you and us and God. And or if you want your brothers and sisters to pray with you, just, you know, you can just put prayer team and, and we'll know. Um, at the end of the service, we'll receive these along with our regular tithe or offering. So if you're a guest with us and you belong to another church, that's your church home, uh, we believe your tithe belongs to your church. If you want to give an offering, of course, you're more than welcome to, but there's no expectation uh, as a guest for you to give anything. But that's the part of the service that we set aside for our giving. So again, as you exit, you can take your connection card, drop it in with the ushers as you leave, as well as your tithe they're offering, and uh, we'll make sure that uh, we can receive those from you. Also, as a guest, know that we've got a guest uh, table set up. We'd love for our connections team to connect with you, and um, our connections pastors will be there. As you exit on the left, there's a table out there. We've got a small gift for you, and you can turn that in to them as well. Can we give all of our first-time guests a warm Life Church welcome? Would you come on with me? Yeah. All right, boys and girls, are you ready? 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 Would you give it up for Pastor Kevin Clark as he comes? Let me get 60-second clock, please. My voice is about already out. I need your help. Can anybody make noise for me today? Let me hear you. What's up, boys? Hey, girls. Let's go. We have 55 seconds to get started, and you got to bring them out. you got to be loud. Can you get loud? I want to see some jumping up and down. Can you jump up and down? Let's count down. Here we go. Let's go. 35 is coming. Let me see. Well, there we go. 33, 32, 31, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26. Jesus this morning. Go ahead. 
and jump and sing with me really loud. I heard an old, old story how a savior came from glory, how he gave his life on Calvary to save a wretch like me. I heard about his groaning of his precious blood's atoning. That's when I repented and I won the victory. Shake, shine, shout, show the world what it's all about. My eyeballs on the prize. Shake, shine, shout, show the world what it's all about. Raise your praise to the sky. I heard about a mansion he has built for me in glory. And I heard about the streets of gold beyond the crystal sea. About the angels singing and the old redemption story. Some sweet day I'll sing up there the song of victory. Shake, shine, shout, show the world what it's all about. My eyeballs on the bright eyes. Shake, shine, shout, show the world what it's all about. Raise your praise to the sky. Shake, shine, shout, show the world what it's all about.
to the back of the shop. Jesus, you're what's happening to me. Now the story gonna tell the world about it. I believe every word I'll never doubt it. From the front to the back, we're gonna shout. Jesus, you're what's happening to me. Jesus, you're what's happening to me. Jesus, you're what's happening to me. Now pay attention, kids, because at the end today, or near the end, we're going to have a boy and a girl come up and stand behind these controllers called the Brain Drain, and we're going to ask you questions on what we taught you today. So make sure you're paying attention, okay? If you want to get up here, because you, if you can play for a trip to the foam chamber and get foamed, all right? All right, so the, if I ask you what the theme is, what are you going to say? Supernatural. It's not natural. It's... Supernatural. There is the natural, but there's also the supernatural, right? All right, and the name of our first lesson here today is Supernatural Protector. Say it with me. Supernatural Protect. How many of you know we have a supernatural protector this morning? We're going to talk about what that means, but let's welcome Miss Kathy. She comes to bring us the Elm Reaver. All right, girls, are you going to be like the boys this morning? Boys, are you going to be like the girls this morning? Oh, boys, that gets you 100,000 points for your team, okay? We're going to do points at, all week long, okay? So you need to... If I say, girls, are you going to be louder than the boys? Then you need to yell it out, okay? So we're going to try that one more time. Girls, are you going to be louder than the boys tonight? <laughs> boys, are you going to be louder than the girls? Yeah! Oh. <laughs> girls, you were a lot louder this time, but boys, you were louder still, so you get that 100,000 points for your team. Okay, it is memory verse time. How many love to memorize God's Word? Awesome, very good, me too. So we have put it into pictures, okay, and see Liz up there? She has the t-shirt cannon, and every one of these, okay, is on a t-shirt, and she's going to be shooting it out. So we have, we have seat time, and we have space time. Space time is when you stand up in front of your seat, make a square around it, and that's where you stand, okay? So everybody stand up because you can't catch these t-shirts if you're not standing up. That's kind of hard, okay? So anyways, but before she can shoot out that t-shirt, we have to guess what those are. Are you ready to guess what those pictures are? Awesome, okay, so after you catch one, if it comes to your area and you catch one, see these orange dots up here? You come up here, stand on the orange dot, and put that t-shirt on. Are you all ready? What do you think the first word is? What does an owl say? Who? Who equals or is? Who is this? Man, very good. Who is this man? Okay, very good. As soon as you get it, run up here. Run up here real fast and stand on that orange circle and put it on. Okay, so let's do this. A lot of times putting actions when something helps us to memorize it better. So, like, do this. Who is this man? I can't hear you. Who is this man? Very good. Who is this man? Even, very good, even the wind, okay, even the wind, let's say that together, even the wind, okay, good job, run up here, you are a good catch, buddy, let me stand over there, please, honey, stand up there, okay, so, who is, let's say the memory verse, who is this man, even the wind, And waves obey him. That's right. That even the winds and waves obey him. Okay, run right up here. Good job. Let's say this memory verse together. Who is this man that even the winds and waves obey him? 
him. Now, where do you suppose that memory verse is found? Mark, Mark, very good. An M with an arc makes Mark. Mark what? Four. Mark, Mark four what? Forty what? One. That's right. Forty-one. Mark four forty-one. Here it comes. Who's going to catch it? Good job, buddy. Very good. Okay, let's say this memory verse together. Who is? I can't hear you. Who is this man that even the wind and waves obey him? Mark 4, 41. Good job. Okay, so I need all the guys to sit down for a second. All the gals between the ages of 2 and 102 stand up, please. We're going to see can girls really say this louder than the boys. You think you can? Okay, let's see what we can do, okay? Who is this man? that even the wind and waves obey him. Mark 441. Girls, that was amazing. Okay, all the girls can sit down. All the guys can stand up. Who's going to be louder? Are you guys going to be louder? I think you're right. Let's see what happens. Who is this man that even the wind and waves obey him? Mark 441. Girls, you were louder. You get 100,000 points for that. Good job. Okay, girls, you're up again. Let's see what you can do. Stand up, girls. Let's do this. Who is this man that even the wind and waves obey him? Mark 441. Okay, guys, it's your turn. Let's stand up and do this. See if you can do it louder than the girls for 100,000 points for your team. Let's go. Who is this man that even the wind and waves obey him? Mark 441. Good job. Okay, listen, girls, you were still louder. You get that 100,000 points for your team. So I'm going to have my professional listeners come on up, okay? So you have to stand right here, okay? Look to the girls. Girls, you have one more chance to be louder. 100,000 points weighs in the balance. So you'll want to get right over here so you can hear it all. Come on over here. Awesome. Okay, all you girls, you have to impress them because they're going to talk it over and see which one is louder for 100,000 points for your team. Okay, stand up, please. Who They were good. Oh, <laughs> oh, come on over here. All the guys stand up. You have to impress this couple for 100,000 points for your team. Are you ready? Let's do this. Okay, you two talk it over. You two talk it over. Okay, you four have to take those T-shirts off and turn them into basketballs. Can you take those T-shirts off and turn them into basketballs, please? Awesome. Okay, so you both, I'm going to set this microphone right between you. You tell me, who gets that 100,000 points, the boys or the girls? The girls! Oh, girls, good job, good job. It's not that the boys are bad. It's just the girls were a little bit louder. True story. They'll be with you tonight. They're going to bring their loud voices tonight. But right now, the baskets are coming out because we're going to find out how many good basketball players. Girls, red, boys, blue. Okay? 10,000 points for every shirt that lands in. You only get one chance. If you make it back to your seat, by the time I get to 10, you get 100,000 points. If you make it by 7... Your team gets 200,000. If you make it by three, five, it's 300,000 points. Are you ready? I'm getting out of your way. Get ready on your mark and set. Go. One and two and three and get back to your seats. Four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and ten. Whoa. That guy just made it back. You get 100,000 points, boys. You get 100,000 points. How many girl shirts made it in? Both 20,000 points, and how about the guys? One, 
Awesome, 10,000 points. Now it's time for everybody to sit up in your seats, hands on your lap, feet on the floor if they touch. It's a very quiet time of the morning, okay? Don't you know what time it is? Elmer for president. What? Elmer for president. Elmer for president. Say it with him. Elmer for president. I can't Elmer hear you. Elmer for president. 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 Awesome. <laughs> Hello. Yes. Thank you, my fellow Americans. Elmer, we were just saying the memory verse. Did you, you hear were. us? Okay. Did you did you hear us? I couldn't. You couldn't hear us? Yeah, I had my headset on. Should you be having your headset on? I was in the zone. You were in the zone. Yeah. When we're in the church. The ozone. The ozone. <laughs> I believe that. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Well, when we're in church, we don't need our headsets on. We need our heads set turned to Jesus. True story, what are you doing? Flipping my Elmer, ear. Elmer, why are you flipping your ear? Because I want to. But why do you want to do that? Because my want. Well, we're going to gonna see if your wants to wants to say today's memory verse, okay? But of course. So this morning. This morning. This morning, our memory you, verse You is, know what? What's that? I didn't, I almost didn't make it here today. You almost didn't make it here? Yeah. How did you almost not make it here? Well, I was driving down the highway and uh -huh. this, 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 this ambulance went screaming by me with the lights on and siren blaring and, and I noticed something fell off the back. Really? Yeah. So I pulled over and. And it was one of them little red and white coolers. You, you found somebody's lunch. No, no. You eat that, you'd lose your lunch. Elmer, what could be that bad in, in a little inside lunch? Inside on ice was somebody's toe. Somebody's toe? Yeah. So there I am. I said, man, I got to get to church. What am I going to do? Elmer, I have no clue what would I do. I don't know. I, I called the tow truck. You called the tow truck? Yeah. I had to call the big boy because it was the big toe. Elmer, let's just go to the memory verse, okay? Okay. Okay. So, who? Roses are red, violets are blue. Yes. Some poems rhyme and some don't. Well, that's, <laughs> that's a true story, and that one didn't. So, <laughs> who is this man, okay? Who? who yes, this is what the disciples asked. Who, who is, is this, this? I got it. I got it. What's that? When Mary had. A little lamb. Elmer, that's a nursery rhyme. We're not doing nursery rhymes. The doctors rhymes. were quite surprised. Elmer. But when old McDonald had a farm, man, they couldn't believe their eyes. Okay, Elmer, that's warp nursery rhymes. Yeah, I know. Okay. They're all warped. Okay, so, Elmer, listen. Hey, guess what, though? Last week, I lost my job in Florida. You lost your job in Florida? Yeah. Elmer, what were you doing for a job in Florida? Oh, I worked at the orange juice factory. Well, that must have been fun. What did yeah. You, yeah. Well, so why, why did you lose your job? I got canned because I couldn't concentrate. Well, really? Yeah. Awesome. Let's just do this. It's now. sad, isn't it? It's very sad. <laughs> very sad. I bet you enjoyed working at, at yeah. I would love to work at Orange Juice Factory. Would you like to, like, figure out how things work? I do. And how the people do things. I like yeah. that show, How's It Made? You like what? That show, how's it made? How's it made? Oh, me too. Yeah. Me too. Okay, so. And then I looked in the Bible and I found out how I was made. Yeah. <laughs> God's well, word tells us, doesn't it? You were. Yeah, yeah, you're good. You buddy. were created in, you know. In God's image. Yeah. Yep, that's amazing. Did you oh. know, Miss Kathy? What's that? That we are created in the image of God? No. I and did you know? What's that? Oh, hallelujah. What? Ooh. What is happening with you, I boy? I think I feel it. Okay, you can feel it. We are created in the image of God. True story, Elmer. We're, we've got, we're made up. We're made. Well, you are not me. I'm I'm made up of stuffing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but people are made up of hi, what is it? Uh, what is it? Hydrogen, car? No, hydrogen, uh, nitrogen, nitrogen, hydrogen. Um, what's the other one? I don't know. Uh, ni <laughs> hi nitrogen, hydrogen. I'm not a scientist, Omar. I am so not a scientist. Something scientist. else in carbon. Anyways, did you know that the Hebrew equivalent of that says spells out Yahweh? No. Yes. I, I, I learned it. You I learned, learned it. Omar, I learned me that. 
Man, we are. Do you think God's that... image is stamped on our very DNA, people? Come on now. I know. I think those are the Woo! treasures that Jesus loves to share with us. Do you think? I that's... had a wow moment yeah. when I found oh, that. I know out. that is amazing. Awesome. There's so many we treasures didn't know that in God's until word. We, could, we didn't know that until we could figure out DNA. Really? Yeah. That's a true story. Awesome. Yeah. Hey, did well, you know I almost had a psychic girlfriend, but she left me before we met? Elmer, please tell me you don't do that psychic stuff. Do you know what God's Word says about that? God's uh -oh. Word says he hates it. Who should lead and guide us? Uh-oh. God should lead and guide us. Oh. Not a psychic, Elmer. I it's, feel it, Sister Kathy. What do you feel, Elmer? It's like a fire. Elmer, what is like a fire? God's Word. Well, God's Word is like it's a fire. It's like a fire. Shut up in my stuffing. Shut up in your stuffing? I think I feel a preach coming on. Oh, Elmer, we can't preach right now. We've got to say yeah, that. Yeah, uh, yes. I'm here to tell you this morning, brothers and sisters, I don't do none of that psychic stuff. Can I get a witness in the house? Uh, I say, why should anybody pay their hard-earned money to go pay some psychic to have them try to read your palm and tell you about your future when they can't even tell you your name? Uh, come on, somebody. I'm preaching better than you shouting now. I I'm here to tell you this morning, brothers and sisters, I serve a big God who knows my name and he has my future in the palm of his hand. Can I get a witness in the house? Come on. Ah, oh, Elmer, that is good preaching. Woo! That is good preaching. What should lead and guide us or who should lead God's and guide God's word, the God, Holy Bible. That's right. God, I read God the should Holy lead and Bible. guide us, and he, this is one way that he does it, through his word. That's right. That's right. Oh, so, that's right. Elmer, so. That's right. Okay, so today we're learning that God you is all-powerful. Spe spe speaking of that, Miss Kathy, I was wondering why it is that people seem to read their Bibles a whole lot more as they get older. Huh. Do you think people do that? Yeah. Why do you suppose that is? I think they're cramming for their finals. You think? think they're cramming. Yeah. Well, hopefully the the more we read God's word, right. the more we fall in love with God. And Come the on. more we fall in love with God, the more we love reading his word. Preach it. Sister. True story. Take the hanky awesome. man. And you know, no, you are the hanky man. I am just <laughs> the Bible carrier. Awesome. Awesome. So Elmer, listen, okay, we need okay. we need to spend time in our in God's word. True story. True story. Awesome. Okay, so our memory verse is who, who is Hootie the Owl? No. Who is this man? Okay, we're gonna learn later who said this and why did they who say it? Is who is this the sand man? man? Who is this man? Say that. Who is this man? Who is this man? That even the wind? That even, hey, do you think when George Washington was asked for some identification, he just whipped out a quarter? <laughs> I don't think they had quarters back then, Elmer. Oh. But we're not learning about George Washington this morning. Okay. We're learning about God okay. and Jesus and the power that he has. Okay? I got it. So let's go back to our memory verse. Okay. Who, Who is this, is this man? That he nailed it. You did. You got the first part right down. So who is this man that even the wind? Now, now, now. Can you do this? The wind? Now, now, now. And waves. Have you ever been in the ocean and seen those big waves? I have. It's, it's they can get pretty high. True story. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're gonna find out w who said this and why did they say it from our Bible story today. Okay. But right now we're gonna who just learn this. Who is this, this man, man that, eats that eats more chicken? Saves a whopper. Eat more chicken. Save a whopper. Let's say it with him. Eat more chicken. Save a whopper. Eat more chicken. Save a whopper. Awesome. Okay, so Elmer, listen. <laughs> Eat more chicken, save a whopper. That's really not in the Bible. Okay, Elmer. So we're going to go back. Elmer, what are you doing to the chicken? I'm checking for subluxations. And what is a subluxation? Ask your chiropractor. They'll tell you. Okay, I'll call my right chiropractor there, T, tomorrow and say, T3, hey. T3 needs an adjustment. Well, we'll call a chiropractor. <coughs> Elmer, what are you doing? No, 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 Elmer. No, 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 Elmer. Elmer, we'll call a chiropractor tomorrow. 
I don't know how you figured out T3D adjustment. Okay, that'll be $75, please. That's not how you do it, Elmer. Where in the world did you learn how to be a chiropractor? YouTube. No, Elmer, there's, you can learn to make bread on YouTube. You cannot learn to be a chiropractor on YouTube, okay? Oh. So we are not going to do that anymore. Okay. okay. So let's focus on this Who memory verse. Who is this, this man, man that, that even, even Stephen? No, even the wind. Oh. Even the wind, wind and, and waves obey. Obey who? Tim. Him. And who is him? Pastor Tim. Well, <laughs> Pastor Tim, well, you know, because he has Jesus in him, he probably could do that because Jesus said greater things that we will Ooh. do. Whoa, that's you pretty powerful. Take the hanky, girl. That, well, no, I'm not preaching over, no okay? <laughs> so, but anyways. okay. Who even, is this man that even the wind and, and the waves, waves obey, obey him? him? And do you know where that memory verse is found? In the Bible. Kids, where's the memory verse found? These kids are Marco sharp. Marco Polo. Mark, no, not Marco Polo. Mark 4, 41. Mark 4, 4, 4, 4. Nope, just 4, 41. 4, 4, 1. 441. Okay, Mark. Mark 441. Good job, Elmer. That's great. I'm glad. I you, love it. I you, got it the first try. Well, it wasn't the first try, Elmer, but you never gave up. Oh. Should we ever give up just because we didn't do it right the first time? No, we just keep on practicing. Elmer, what are you doing? What are you doing? This is my umbrella. It that. protects me from the rain. Oh, well, that's, it did rain this morning, but that is not an umbrella. Yes, it is. What makes you... Oh, I'm just kidding. It's really a lip adjuster. It's really what? A lip adjuster. What do you mean it's a lip adjuster? Well, if you ever think you're going to say something you shouldn't say, you just pull this out of your backpack and you apply it like this. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Elmer, do you know what that really is? A lip adjuster. No, it's a toilet plunger. We should never put something like that. Oh, around. by the way, you must not go yard sailing for this item. Well, that's, that's good to know. You must get one new and fresh, kids, from your local hardware store. But it is a good object lesson, Elmer, that yeah. we need to watch whatever comes out of our mouth. we don't want to have a potty mouth. And we need uh -uh. to only say what Jesus would say. That's True right. story? Awesome. Okay. Okay. So, kid, you have a favorite song, right? I do. Can, Can I sing you, it? Do you kids want to hear his favorite song? Awesome. Okay, here okay. it comes. I don't bury me, I don't bury me, I don't bury me, I said. I don't bury me, I don't bury me, cause I ain't dead. I don't bury me, I don't bury me, I don't bury me, I said. Let me get to heaven a half an hour before the devil knows I'm dead. That is not your favorite song. Okay, so let's just go right to our favorite song. I think I'm gonna throw up. I think I'm gonna throw up. I think I'm going to throw up my hand and praise the Lord. That's a good thing to do, Elmer. That's a good thing to do. Praise God. But that's that's a good song, if but it's not your favorite. I ah. had a teeny weeny box to put my Jesus in. What would you do? I'd take him out and and share him with my friends. Good job, Elmer. Good job. And if I had a teeny weeny box to put that bad old devil in. Elmer, what would you do? <laughs> I would take him out and smash his face. Awesome. Good job. And put him awesome. back again. Good job. Animal quackers in my soup. Monkeys and rabbits loop the loop. My oh my oh why oh why am I singing this silly song? I don't know, Elmer. Listen. Okay. I hate bugs. Whoa, watch out. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. I know you hate bugs, Elmer. I know I you hate, hate bugs. bugs. Yeah, good job, Elmer. Good job. I hate bugs good for nothing but to feed the frogs. I hate bugs worst thing ever made by God. I hate bugs. Yes? Bugs. Yes? Big bugs. Whoa, watch out. Awesome. Fat bugs. Whoa. Creepy, crawly, wiggly bugs. Whoa. 
Good I'm catch. playing hate bugs. I know you hate bugs, Elmer. I know you hate ah, bugs. What's the name yellow of jacket. Oh, Elmer, you do not have to be afraid of that yellow jacket, okay? Awesome. Okay, so let's say bye to Elmer. Okay. Bye, I love you. Elmer is coming back tonight. Are you going to bring your friends? Awesome. Very good. We want to meet your friends. And you want me to tell you a little secret? 500,000 points for your team if every new person you bring to church tonight and tomorrow and the next night, next night. Okay, so Liz has got the T-shirts all folded up. She's going to be throwing them to the girls. I'm going to be throwing them to the boys. As soon, it's space time now, so stand up, please, in your space, because you can't catch these if you're sitting down. So easy. True story. So if they come to you and you catch them, you run up here. Boys, you're going to get on the blue dots. Girls, you're going to get on the purpley pink dots. Okay? And you're going to get those t-shirts on. Get yourself in the right order and sit down. First team to do that gets 100,000 points for their team. Are you ready? On your mark. Get set and go. <laughs> and take those t-shirts off and turn them into basketballs because the basketball baskets are right there. She has got it ready, girls. Guys, he has got it ready. So go ahead and take that t-shirt off and turn it right into a basketball. I'll show you. Awesome. Good job. Oh, I like how big and hard that basket. Oh, whoa. You guys are good. Okay, everyone that makes it in the basket is 10,000 points for your team. Make it back to your seat. By the time I get to 10, you get 100,000 points for your team. You get 200 if you get there by 7. And you get 300 if you get there by 5. Are you guys ready? Are you girls ready? On your mark. Get set. Go. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and good job awesome okay girls you made it back by the time i got to six that makes seven that's two hundred thousand points for your team guys you made it back by seven that's two hundred thousand points for your team how many girls made it in one ten thousand points twenty thousand points for the guys good job what's our theme oh you're quick studies you learn fast what's the name of our lesson good job supernatural protector how many of you know we have a supernatural protector let's pray right now father we thank you for your word that comforts us that guides us that gives us direction for life and strengthens us lord we thank you lord god for the holy spirit who makes it come alive in us god we pray you'll just bless your word to our hearts and our minds today in Jesus' name we ask it. And all of God's amazing, incredibly wonderful kids of all ages who agreed said, Amen. Stick up your thumb. Turn to your neighbor. Press your thumb against your neighbors. And go, bzzz. <laughs> That's the bumblebee handshake, in case you didn't know it. <laughs> okay. Supernatural protector. I want you to sit up straight in your seat. No going to the bathroom during this time unless you're being potty trained. Got that, adults? <laughs> All right. Let's watch over here and listen to Bible Bob as he brings us God's forever word. Bible Bob. We read from the book of Mark, chapter 4, verses 35 through 41. As evening came, Jesus said to his disciples, Let's cross to the other side of the lake. So they took Jesus in the boat and started out, leaving the crowds behind, although other boats followed. 
But soon, a fierce storm came up. High waves were breaking into the boat, and it began to fill with water. Jesus was sleeping at the back of the boat with his head on a cushion. The disciples woke him up, shouting, Teacher, don't you care that we're going to drown? When Jesus woke up, he rebuked the wind and said to the waves, Silence, be still. Suddenly, the wind stopped, and there was a great calm. Then he asked them, Why are you afraid? Do you still have no faith? The disciples were absolutely terrified. Who is this man? They asked each other. Even the wind and the waves obey him. That's it. Wow, thank you, Bob. Wow. And we have to remember that as we look at this story, that Jesus was revealing himself to his disciples. We, we, we have the Bible so we can learn a lot. We know a lot of things about Jesus. But put yourself in their shoes that they're just learning about Jesus. So this morning we're talking about a supernatural protector. But in the natural, okay, in the natural we have protectors, right? Right? Who can think of somebody that protects us in the natural? Okay, that's, that's supernatural, but in the natural, like every day. I mean, yes, God every day, but in the natural, not supernatural, but natural. Your parents, that's exactly what I was thinking. How many of you know your parents, God has given them to you, to, not only to teach you and uh, to guide you in life, right, and provide for you and all that stuff, but they're there to protect you. So when they're telling you that not to go certain places and do certain things, how many of you know they're doing it because they love you, you know? And parents, we have to be careful. We don't just, you know, because we don't want to put up with all the, the process of teaching them. We have to be careful. We don't just, you know, just let them have their way and just do anything they want because they need our protection. Amen? And so a good parent will protect their kids. Got it? Amen? Right? Just like a, like a hen protects her little chicks. Right? Yeah. yeah. I ride bicycle a lot, and I ride on a lot of trails and stuff. And a lot of times you'll see these, um, I forget what they call them, they're geese or something like that. Come on, I can't, I always get them mixed up. I always get mallards and geese mixed up because they're really close, you know. Just kidding. <laughs> Anyways, and so, and so I'll come along, and there'll be a mother, mother one there, and then there'll be a lot of little ones behind. And, man, when I get close... If she's got little ones, if they're by themselves, it's no problem. They'll just mosey on off. But, boy, I'll tell you, if you get close to one of their little chicks and they're, uh, they're, they're little uh, birdies, whatever you call them, and, they, and, and they're just following along in a little line, and I get close on my bike or my trike, and they'll go, <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. It's like, it's like a snake. That <laughs> like a cat almost, but it's a bird cat. Does that make sense? Thanks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, they'll protect their young, amen? That's in the natural, kids. That's in the natural. Every day, thank God for parents that protect, that love their kids and protect their kids from the harms of this world, amen? That's one of our jobs as parents is to, to guide our kids and protect them and to guide them in a way they'll be safe, amen? But in the supernatural sense today, we're talking about a supernatural protector, who are we talking about? Who are we talking about? Supernatural protector. Who is he? Come on. God. God. Jesus. Now, Jesus came to the earth to show us who the unseen God was. Jesus said, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father, right? And so Jesus is come into the world. He's born as a baby. He grew into a man. And we can pick him up in this story as he's calling his disciples, the ones he's going to trust to share the good news that he came to die on the cross for our sins. He was going to trust these 12 men. Got it? Wow, what a responsibility. But they, they've never seen anything like it. They've, they've heard stories, you know. They heard stories of years ago how God did miracles in the supernatural for, for Israel, but now they've never seen it for themselves. But now, wow, think about it. The creator of heaven and earth, our creator. Hello? 
came into the world as a man born of a woman but from the seed of God wow that makes him supernatural it makes him natural and it makes him supernatural he's called the God man God with us Emmanuel God in the flesh hello and so he went through everything that we went through and here we see Jesus he's been ministering he's been teaching the people all day long it's evening time the sun is starting to go down right and Jesus said hey to his disciples he says let's cross over the other side of the Sea of Galilee it's really like a big lake and it's got these sloping hills all around it right he says, let's go over the other side. I mean, he's been, he's been ministering all day. He's been teaching the people amazing things, but he's not done yet. He's got to get to the other side because there's somebody over there that really needs him. Yeah, a man possessed by the devil himself and demons. So he says, let's get in the boat. Lord, let's cross over. And then the disciple says, Hey, I got a boat. Let's go. And so they get into the boat, right? They get into the boat, and they set out across the Sea of Galilee. And as they're going along, everything's calm. Everything's okay. Everything's peaceful. Everything's just fine, like a normal day on the lake. They're in the boat. And then, out of nowhere, the winds began to kick up. <laughs> the winds began to kick up. And when it did, what happened? What happened? The boat was being tossed and turned and every which way, and the waves were splashing, and the waves were splashing. Don't capsize on me. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Flip, flip, bad boat. <laughs> Anyways, oh, there we go. So, so back and forth, the waves are just really, really strong, right? And the waves are creating so much water over the boat that the boat is starting to what? Sink. Yeah, you can't. You know, boats boats don't like water inside them. They don't last very long on the on the water, do they? They'll sink. And so they're, they're going back and forth, and they're fighting, and they're, they're worried, and they're full of fear. And Jesus, you know where Jesus is? He's, he's taking a nap. He's in the back of the boat. <laughs> Can you imagine that? He's in the back of the boat, sleeping on a cushion. <laughs> Can you believe it? <coughs> Excuse me. Dry throat. I'm okay. Don't give me water. <laughs> back and forth boats filling up boats filling up right and what do the disciples do they're freaking out right so what do they do they go back and they say look at Jesus and they, they go teacher notice what they call him teacher because that's all they've known him as is teacher because he's been teaching them all kinds of things about the kingdom of God he says to them, teacher, teacher, what's going on, man? How can you sleep through this? Don't you care? Don't you care? How many people have said to God, don't you care about my situation? Don't you care, Lord, what I'm going through? Teacher, don't you care? We're about to drown. We're about to die. And Jesus got up Jesus got up now notice what he does people he gets up out of the boat he doesn't say anything but he rebukes he rebukes the wind you know what that tells me that wind came from the devil to keep Jesus from accomplishing his plan because you don't Jesus would never rebuke himself amen that he rebukes the wind and then he speaks to it he speaks 
speaks to the storm. He speaks to the wind. And he says, peace. Peace. Be still. And instantly, supernaturally, the wind and the waves went to sleep. Crazy to peace. And Jesus said to him, Why are you so afraid? Did you know fear is one of the devil's biggest tools against the believer? Because if he can get us full of fear, he can keep us from doing what God wants us to do. If he can put fear in you about telling your friend about Jesus, he's won the battle. Not the war, but he's won that battle. Hello? Jesus says to them, why are you afraid? Why are you afraid? Sometimes stuff is thrown at us in life and it just comes at us out of nowhere. We've experienced that over the last year and a half, right? Right? Comes out of nowhere. We were living our lives and all of a sudden our world was crazy upside down and the devil started putting fear on everybody. My God is not a God of fear. I only fear and reverence him. Amen? Amen? Jesus said, do not fear man who can destroy the body, but rather fear God in reverence and honor him as God. Amen? Fear. One of his biggest weapons he uses against us as the church, as believers and followers of Christ. Don't let him win. Then Jesus said, why are you afraid? He says, where is your faith? Where is your faith? I think how we respond and how we act when we're afraid, kids and big kids, shows us just how little our faith is. Amen? Come on. But, 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 no, 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 I don't want to hear, I don't want to hear, but, but, no, I don't hear the buts. Amen? We are either people of faith or we're not. Amen? You must have faith to believe that Jesus died on the cross and rose from the dead for your sins. And it's the same faith. Amen? Amen? Now, there is a healthy kind of fear, okay? For instance, if, you know, your ball runs into the street and you mistakenly didn't think and you run after that ball don't do that by the way and you see a car coming and you freak out right now if you see that car coming and you freeze that's a bad kind of fear got it but if that fear moves you to get out of the way to save your life amen that's a good kind of fear got it you, you fear that moves you to take action positive action is good fear but if it free if it if it paralyzes you and freezes you so you can't be free that's not from God amen how many understand the difference it's a healthy fear and unhealthy fear amen how many want a healthy fear amen Fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge of what's right in the world. Amen? He says, why are you so afraid? Where is your faith? You see, God doesn't want you to put faith in your faith. Amen? He wants you to put faith in him. 
Because how many of you know Jesus was on board? Amen? People, some people say, if I just drum up enough faith, then like, no, 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 no. It's just a matter of believing that Jesus is who he says he is, and he means what he says in his word, and it's true. And we need to get to the place where we don't doubt in our heart and we let fear rule our hearts. Amen? That's, we need to grow in faith. Amen? Kids, it's easier for you because it's like you and dad. You know, how many of you kids believe dad can fix anything? No? Man, the dad status is going down here. <laughs> Come on. Not my dad. He can't fix how many of your dads can take something apart, but they can't put it back together? <laughs> well, I'm thankful this morning that we have a heavenly father, amen, a heavenly father who can put us back together again, amen? Why are you afraid? Where is your faith? And then what do they do? Then what do they do? They stand up. Now, <laughs> They were freaking out. They were afraid of the storm. But I don't know if they were more afraid of the storm <laughs> than this guy, Jesus. <laughs> because it says they were still afraid when he spoke to the storm and told it to be quiet. They were full of fear. But who is this guy? What is he, an alien? They didn't believe in aliens back then, I don't think. I don't think. Right? They said, who is this man? Man, they heard some great teachings. <laughs> they heard some great teachings. He had a lot to say, cool stuff to say. But now they see his power and his authority. Amen? And they say, who is this guy? Even though, say it with me, who is this? This man, even the wind and the waves, obey him. Amen? Authority. The authority of God. Amen? He didn't yell and scream and have a hissy fit. No, to try to build up his faith. No, he just rebuked the storm. It doesn't even say he said anything when he rebuked the storm. It just says he, he rebuked it. I mean, to me, it wasn't from God. Amen? He was rebuking the devil that sent it to stop him. Amen? And he said, peace, be still. I mean, want God's peace. Well, you know what? If Jesus is on board in your heart, amen? If Jesus is on board in your heart, if you've accepted Jesus as your Savior, if you believe with faith that he's the Son of God, and that he died on the cross and rose from the dead, you invite him into your life. Amen? Yeah. You're walking away from God, and you do an about face. You repent, and you start walking towards God by following Jesus. That's what his disciples did. They started to follow Jesus. And as you follow Jesus, you learn more of who he is. Amen? But you got to start following. you got to believe he came to die on the cross for you, to forgive you of your sins. Amen? Because sin blinds us. Sin blinds us to who Jesus is. So when you ask him to forgive you and come into your life, then you can follow him. Amen? How many want to follow Jesus? I'm going to ask you this morning, is there anyone here that wants Jesus to be on board? Like he was on board in that boat. Amen? How many of you know if Jesus is on board, everything's going to be okay? Amen? How many of you know if Jesus is on board in the ship, everything's going to be cool? Right? No matter how rough it gets. Right? As long as he's on board, it's going to be okay. Amen? Even if the worst happens and we die, <laughs> we win. <laughs> Hallelujah. How cool is that? Now, nobody wants to die, I hope. Right? Because God created us to live. Right? Jesus came to give us life. And a good life. An abundant life full of him, knowing him. Amen? So if you've never asked him into your heart and you'd like to say, surrender to him and say, Jesus, I need you on board in my life. I don't want to live in fear. 
Maybe you've already asked Jesus into your heart. If you let the devil put fear in your heart, you say, man, I don't want to be that way anymore. I want to invite you to get up out of your seat and come and kneel right down here right now and bow your knee and come and pray. If you've never asked Jesus into your heart, or if you have, and you want to pray and say, God, I need your peace. Maybe you're going through a storm. Maybe life is crazy for you right now. And you want to come and just humble yourself before God. Come and find a place to pray right now. This altar's open. Don't be afraid. Don't be shy. Just get up out of your seat. Find a dot down here. There's some dots down here. Come find a dot and land on it. Spot. Hit the spot. Amen. Anyone this morning? Just come. Don't be afraid. If you feel that tug on your heart, you want to come and pray. I'll give you that opportunity right now. Anybody? Anybody? Don't be shy. Just come. Just obey that tug on your heart. Amen. Maybe you're going through some fears. Amen. Maybe you need to let Jesus come into your heart and live in your life. Amen. Only the Lord knows. You know where you're at. Don't be shy. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to come down here. Don't be afraid of what people are going to think. You see how we get that way? We can be so afraid. This is a family event, by the way. So this is for every age here today. Amen. Hallelujah. Come and humble yourself and pray. God said. Feel that tug on your heart? Obey him. Could be the Holy Spirit talking to you. Come and bow and surrender to him. Maybe you need to surrender your fears to him. Say, God, I don't want to live in fear. It's not good for me. It's not healthy not healthy to live in fear, people. It's not healthy at all. Don't listen to the lies of the devil. Put him in his place today. Put him in his place today. Yeah. Rebuke the devil. Amen? Notice that. Notice that Jesus couldn't bring the calm until he rebuked the devil in the storm. Amen? We rebuke the devil. Say, devil, in the name of Jesus, get out of here. Then you can speak. Amen? You're sick? We'll talk about this this week. You're sick? Let's rebuke the sickness and the demon behind it. Amen? Then we can speak healing into people. Amen? You can believe for healing. Amen? you got to stop what's causing it first. Amen? Then the peace of God comes. Amen? Then his blessings come. Tell no to say no to the devil. I'm going to follow Jesus. Amen. Then forgiveness comes. Amen. Peace comes between you and God. Oh, it's a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful thing. Amen. Let's pray all across this place. Let's bow our hearts before the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. We thank you, Jesus. We worship you this morning. We bow before you. We surrender to you and you alone, Jesus. Thank you for your word that sets us free. Thank you for your word that sets us free. Thank you that you're our protector. When life gets crazy, we know you're there because we've invited you into our lives. Because we've made the choice to follow you. Just like those disciples made a choice to follow you. We're making a choice. Have you made that choice this morning? Have you made that choice this morning? Have you said yes to Jesus? Have you said, Jesus, I choose life today. I choose you over fear. I choose you over my sin. Hallelujah. I make a choice. I make a choice. choice is yours. Nobody can make it for you. The choice is yours. Who will you serve today? Amen. Will you serve God? Amen. How many are glad Jesus has come into your heart? Come on, raise your hand. How many have Christ? No, you're so glad. Don't don't go anywhere yet, folks, if if you don't mind. We're going to pray together here just a minute.
How many are glad Jesus came into your life? Huh? How many are glad? Amen. And let's pray together. Can we do that? The Bible says you believe with your heart, you confess it with your mouth, the Lord Jesus. Amen? And then the Bible says you'll be saved. Amen? So let's pray out loud. Can we do that? Dear Heavenly Father, I believe with my whole heart that Jesus, your Son, is the Son of God. Jesus, thank you for going to the cross to take my sin, bear my sickness and sorrow. Thank you, Jesus, for being my Savior, for coming into my life, for living in my life. As I walk through this world, day by day, I know you are with me, and you'll never quit on me. Jesus name. Amen. Amen. No 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 if anybody's been with me before and I know we're we're new here but uh, um, yeah we're probably new to you. I have another way of saying amen, okay? Amen is kind of an old word in the Bible. Amen means so be it, okay? Or let what we've said we want it to actually happen, right? So I like to say it this way. Instead of saying amen, we're going to say yes. Can you do it with me? Yes. See, what you're doing is you're saying yes to God, amen, and you want what's been said to be happening, amen, amen. Come on, one more time. Everybody across this place, you want, let's have a big yes, amen. Let's give the Lord a hand this morning, amen, for his goodness. Hallelujah. No fear. Turn to your neighbor. Say no fear. Amen. I belong to the child. I'm a child of the king. I belong to God, amen, amen. All right, praise God. Ooh, okay, we're going to change it up a little bit. I told you we're going to have a game here called the Brain Drain. So I'm going to need a boy and a girl that's not afraid to go into the foam chamber to get foam. Because whoever gets the most points can choose whether you want to get foam or you can send your opponent if you get the most points, okay? So we're going to start with a girl this morning, all right? And... Huh? Oh, oh, did I ask? Oh, no. I, were you supposed to? Uh, well, I was going to pick, but that's okay. <laughs> All right. Did somebody tell you to do that? Oh, man, look at that. She's a leader. She's just stepping right up there. Hey, listen, I'll tell you what. You pick. Now you pick. Pick a girl. Go ahead, quickly. But All right. The rainbow mask. Okay. Now, how old are you, honey? How old are you? Huh? You're seven. Now, are you going to be okay getting up there and taking that mess down? Is, she, can she, is, is the parent here? Is she okay to take that out so we can hear her? Okay. You're seven. All right. Isn't that great? A rainbow is a promise from God. Amen. It's a promise from God that he will never destroy the earth with a flood. Isn't that awesome? Oh, cool deal. Amen. All right. So we're, how old are you? Seven. All right. Step right. What's your name? Ayana. Step right up there, Ayana. All right, step right up there. Seven. I need a seven-year-old boy. Who's seven? You're seven? All right, are you okay with bringing the mask down up there? Okay, come on up. All right. All right. All right, good deal. All right, what's your name? Gideon? Oh, that's a cool name. Amen? All right. All right, everybody say hi to my grandson. All right, just having that grandfather moment here. He lives up in... Oops, I'm sorry. It was a blackout. (laughs) Technology. All right, I'm going to ask the questions. Don't you give the answers, okay? Don't you give out the answers. They must answer themselves, okay? All right? All right, all the points you're going to get are going to go to the team score for your for the candy grab contest, and we'll tell you more about that later, all right, on Wednesday night. We'll give out candy to the winning team, well, both teams. But first place team gets candy bar, second place team gets a Tootsie Pop, okay? All right, so you're playing for points for yourself on a trip to the foam chamber. Are you sure you're up for this? Okay, you got that blank look in your eyes, okay? All right. You're not afraid, are you? Say, no fear. No fear. No fear. All right. Very good. So I'm going to ask them, don't give the answer. I'm proud of you if you know the answer, but don't give the answer. Let them give the answers, okay? All right. Here we go. Ready? All right. Ayana, Ayana is that how you say it? Ayana? Okay. Ayana, we're going to do a sound check. So hit the button. Hit the button. Go ahead, push it. That's what you do if you know the answer, but don't push it until you know the answer, okay? All right, and they now say check, check. Check, check. Good job. Gideon, hit the button. Say check, check. Check, check. 
No, microphone. Check, check. Good job. Here we go. First question for 10,000 points. What is the name of our theme? The word, one word, theme. What is it? Because. Who is no, this no, name? No, 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 not the memory verse. The, the word, the theme, the overall theme. Begins with S. Okay, clear. Go ahead, hit it, honey. Hit it. Supernatural. Supernatural! 10,000 points for the girls! All right, question number two for 20,000 points. 20,000 points. Today's lesson was called Supernatural what? I know. Hero! Huh? Hero? Hero. No, but he is my hero. Supernatural what? You know? No help? No help? What? No help? No. How old are you? <laughs> you know it? Quickly. On what? Supernatural. Yeah. Protector. Did you hear them? Did you hear them? At least she's honest, right? He's honest. All right. All right. Um, all right. Um, I'm, you know what? I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you five thousand points for honesty. Okay. Five thousand points for honesty. All right. Question number three. Ready? For thirty thousand points. Tell me if this s sentence is true or false. Okay. Jesus can protect us from those things that make us afraid. True or false? Give it Microphone. True. True. 30,000 for the boy. <laughs> Question number four. Tell us in your own words what the Bible story was I told up here and Bible Bob shared it with. What was the story about? Hit the button. Go ahead. God, uh -oh. God calmed the ocean sea. The sea. Why? He didn't want his disciples to drown. Come on. I'll take that. Seven-year-old answer sounds good to me. Forty thousand for the boys. Last question. Fifty thousand. You ready? Fifty thousand points. Say today's memory verse. Gideon. Who is this man? The wind obeys and the waves obey him. Where's it found? Mark 14, four, 1441. 1441? Mark 1441? Yeah. Or something else? Mark 14. Think of the pictures. You know? Go ahead. Where's it found? 40, 41? No, not 40. All right, say, let's say it all together. Who is this? Even though. Amen, Mark 441. So you got it really close. You got the verse. I'm going to give you. Go to a 50, you see it's 50, I'm gonna give you 45,000 points out of the 50 for the boys. So, Gideon, you get to choose. Do you wanna go in the foam chamber and get foam, or do you wanna send Ayana? Uh, huh? Foam chamber. You wanna go to the foam chamber, all right. Ayana, come with me, honey. Come right down over here. Come here, honey. Do you want what's in this one, that one, or the other one? There's a prize behind each one of these. Do you want, you get one. Do you want this one, that one, or the other one? Which one? No, that, this is this one. That's that one. That's the other one. So she's going for that one. Okay, she wants that one. What do you get? You get yourself your very own headband ring toss game. Isn't that crazy? All right. Don't put it in your mouth, though. Don't put it in your mouth because it's a choking hazard. Say it with me. Choking hazard. All right, here we go. More foam, more foam, more foam, more foam. Help me out, come on. More foam, more foam, more foam, more foam, more foam, more foam, more foam. More, 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 more foam. More foam, more foam, more foam. Boom! 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 Boom!
look at that. Would y'all look at that? Sometimes you just gotta look at it. Did he survive? Hey! Let's give it up for the man! You wanna keep that? Oh, you, want me, you want me to get it off you? All right, can you go step over here? Stand right there for me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Can you go over there? I'll be within an hour. All right. Here we go. Yeah. Woo. More bomb. More bomb. More bomb. Lots of foam. What are we going to do here? Whoa, no. Oh, I lost it. I can't believe I lost it. I lost it. Yeah. Woo. All right. Welcome to the foam pit. <laughs> All right. Hey, let's try that again. Let's try that again. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Was that fun? Hey, do you want what's in this one or the other one? This one or the other one? Quick, Quickly, this one or the other one? No, that's the other one. That's this one. That's the other one. The other one. All right. What are you going to get? Oh, you got your very own container of washable, oh, they have washable chalk now. Safe and non-toxic, but don't put it in your mouth because it's a... <laughs> All right, let's hear it for cheap toys. Come on. Cheap toys, cheap toys, cheap toys, cheap toys, cheap toys, cheap toys, cheap toys. All righty. Let's give it up for Pastor Tim. <laughs> How many of you guys have just loved Kids Turn? If you love Kids Turn, say yeah! You know what the amazing thing is? This is just the beginning! So Pastor Kevin asked me to let you know these things because he can hardly talk right now. His voice is gone. So, boys and girls, listen. Tonight's color is orange if you wear orange you receive 10,000 points if you wear orange on your top and your bottom you get 25,000 points if you wear wacky socks 10,000 points now this is the best one of all let me tell you how to earn half of a million points. Half of a million points. If you bring someone tonight that hasn't been in a month, you receive half a million points! Half a million points! They do have to be compliant and cooperative. Never mind. All right. Also, tonight's giveaway is glow bracelets. So come on out tonight. We got glow bracelets, and we need your help with this, Mom and Dad. Tonight, we will be registering uh, kids as they come in. You can help us tonight by grabbing this uh, by your seat and go ahead and pre-registering your kids and turning them in as you leave today. So if you'll take a few moments that will help us so we don't bottleneck at the door. If you could take a few moments, if you have not already pre-registered, to go ahead and do that and fill this out. Fill this out.
before you go, and you can turn it in to the ushers. Our ushers are going to stand by the doors uh, real quick because we're going to pray a prayer dismissal in a moment because I want you to get ready for tonight. You don't want to miss tonight. So if you'll take a few moments to fill this out in the pre-register, mom and dad, if you're a guest with us, you know those connection cards that are in the seat back in front of you right here? If you'll take, oh, thank you for letting me borrow yours. Take one of those, take a few moments to fill it out. We would love to be able to pray for you. And the way we'll know how to pray for you is you take a few moments to write down what it is that we can pray with you about. You can turn those in as well as you leave. We'll receive our regular tithe and offering um, as you exit. And tonight, we'll receive offerings for missions. So it's going to be a fun contest, Boys Against Girls. And I heard, I heard tonight there's going to be a special announcement about somebody from the losing team that's going to get foamed. But Pastor Kevin's going to let you know about that tonight. Everybody say 6 o'clock. Tonight. Monday night, 7 o'clock. Tuesday night, 7 o'clock. And the last night, Wednesday night, 7 o'clock. Would you stand up on your feet all over the place? Let me pray a prayer of dismissal over you, a prayer of blessing over you. And then if you're a guest, we'd love to have you swing by our welcome center that's located to your left as you exit. Pastor Mike, our connections pastor, will be out there. I think I said Mark. Pastor Mark. Pastor Mike, our connections pastor, will be out there. He'd love to give you something free and just a way of saying thanks for being a guest tonight. How many are excited about tonight? Hey, who's going to win tonight, the boys or the girls? All right, let me pray. Can I pray for you? Why don't you hold your hands like this, palms up, like you're receiving something. Can, oh, Pastor Tim wants to pray a prayer of blessing over you. Is that okay? Can I do that right now? Moms and dads, grandparents. Boys and girls, Father, I thank you for this wonderful time that we've had with our Kids Turn team. God, I thank you for the valuable, powerful lessons that we learned, God. All the things that you put inside of us from the Bible, from the Word of God. I pray that you would bless these boys and girls. You bless their parents. You bless their aunts and uncles, grandparents, their neighbors who brought them. I pray that you bless them coming and going. Bless them with favor. I pray the favor of God on them. I pray, God, that you bless them with health. I pray that you bless them with peace of mind, clarity, direction, and supernatural strength and protection. In the name of Jesus Christ, and everybody said, amen. God bless you. Our ushers can receive your cards and offering the door. Have a great day.